Hi guys, it's your boy Bernard. Uh, today I'm going to take you to my journey of transforming my 1993 R32 Godzilla GTR. So stay tuned. Please don't forget to subscribe for more content. Hi guys, this is my 1993 R32 Skyline GTR. I got it from mainland Japan to Okinawa. Uh, I've had it for about a year and a half and I'm OCD so I wanted to fix all the little imperfections. The car was in the shop for about almost four months. Yeah, there was a lot of rust hidden, but we were able to find all of them and all the little okay rust that was forming up too. We were able to get everything. As you can see in the back, everything. The front right there. Yeah, even the blow valves. That was from where the battery sits. It had to be cut out. So that was crazy. Yeah, but Taki Motors, they were good, good to go. They did everything pretty, pretty good from the beginning all the way to the end. They spent a lot of time, a lot of time working on this car. It was crazy. Took all the little parts, fixed the trunk. That was for us all over that area to fix all of that. Before the actual thing, as you can see, there's no more rust, there's no holes. Everything looks nice and neat. Yeah, exhaust looks dirty. Wheels are gonna be painted. So, yeah, the top was sanded off, it had rust bubbles. Same as the front side panel. All that is gonna get painted and uh, in a cooler as well. So, yeah, I had to do it because this is when the car was freshly painted. I went over there to look at it and as you can see, there's a lot of difference. There's a huge difference from earlier. This is freaking awesome. I love the work, the attention to detail and the time that they put into it. I think, I think that was a very, very, very hard working guys. Yeah. I would highly recommend them Taki Motors over there by Kadena Gate 2. Really good. Got all the details. Put it in work, my man. Yeah. Oh my lord, look at the engine base. The engine base is so dirty, but paint was done. Look at the front. Everything looking brand new, brand new paint. Yeah, the wheels are being painted. That's why they have those ugly wheels on there right now. So yeah, just ignore that. But other than that, look at that. Look at all the little bits and pieces that still needs to go on top of the car. Yeah, this is the wheels now. Candy brown it was random. He asked me, what color do you want? I said, candy brown. We made it happen. That's how the engine bay is currently looking. There's the wheels once again, that actually looks better on the car. I was really in love with it. With the wheels, I think I made a good decision. It looks way better on the car, actually. Way better, way better. So the car is coming to the final stages. As you can see, a lot of details, attention to detail. They just put the rear, tires and rims on as you can see my man put it in work a hundred percent the wheels look good on the car car look glossy and shiny just like how I wanted it that's my pickup date September fit because I want to take the car to cars and coffee so they said they're gonna meet that deadline so we'll see how that goes yeah, so overall, car looks really, really good. Still a little bit more work that needs to be done. We got the Nismo trunk lip and then the gurney flap. That's still yet to be put on. So yeah, as you can see, they did a very good job. Great, amazing job. As you can see, they put a lot of details, attention to detail into this car. It's almost done in the final stages. 
I was actually there, helped out. It's still polishing the gurney flap and the wing and the Nismo trunk lit. I was there this morning helping out. I helped put both tires back on. And then the front ones, as you can see, it's right there. Little minor details. Also, we put a rust protection coat over there. It looks really nice and neat. I really like that. Not a good shot, but try to take a picture of it. It looks way, way, way better in person. And I think they're doing an amazing job. These guys, man, the car looks, the car looks marvelous in person. It looks really good. And I'm excited to pick it up. Kind of look nice and sleek without the wing, but I like the wing. It looks better, a hundred times better. You'll see a picture of it soon. Yeah, so these guys, man, I tell you, I'm, I'm impressed. I missed the car, it's been gone for four months, but I'm ready to have it back. I, I'm really ready. Yeah, as you can see, front right there, body kit was repaired, everything, all rust removed. The car is in pristine condition, almost kind of like brand new from factory. Yeah, this is the final, final look of the car. This is how it looks with the gurney flap and the wing and the Nismo trunk lip. And I tell you, the car looks amazing in person. There's not a lot of space in there. It's a light, tight space. So I tried to squeeze in, try to get the car, but I am going to do a photo and video shoot of the whole thing once I actually pick it up. So yeah look forward for that but yeah it's an amazing transformation from a rust bucket to brand new man i love it